I've had uh, the opportunity over the last uh, 13 years to be part of 72 of these community projects. And I can honestly say this has been our most successful, our most enthusiastic, and our most innovative. So I just want to start off by saluting you guys. And so our theory was if we could find the demographically confirmed areas where people are living the longest and found the common denominators, we'd have a pretty good idea of some lessons that we might want to follow. So we went to work with the city planners. We have a really good team, Dan Burden, you saw him in the video. I think he's one of the top in the nation. But we helped the city planners think about ways that they could build the streets for human beings. And part of actually getting that done is involving the community. So we did these charrettes and these photomorphs, and we you know, brought people together, uh, citizens in a neighborhood, and said, well, this is what your intersection looks like now. Do you like that, or would you rather have this? So instead of continuing to beat the dead horse of individual responsibility, and you better go make the healthy choice for your family, or you're bad. That's, that's a recipe for failure. The secret to longevity and increased health is going into our homes, into to our workplaces and into our schools with goggles on to say to ourselves how are we going to make the healthy choice not only the easy choice but the unavoidable choice. I just got the 2020 numbers this morning. 20% uh, increase in life evaluation, 42% decrease in smoking. That is shocking. 29% decrease in overweight and obesity and 15% increase in um, exercise. There is no other community in America that has achieved this, that have actually started with a kind of unhealthy community and got a lot healthier. And you guys are doing it better than anyone else else in America and I salute you for it. Thank you very much.